can you gather around a little bit um, closer to me? So first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you all for coming. You know me, my name is Lynn Smith. I'm Development Manager of Old Colony Elder Services and we're standing here in front of our Brockton office at 144 Main Street. With me is Terry Quartz. She is the Director of our Protective Services Division and next to her is Diane DeGiorgi. She is our Chief Operating Officer. June, as we all know, is Elder Abuse Awareness Month and many of us are wearing purple today as a reminder. And as another reminder, we ask you to come and march with us on June 15th from the Brockton Council on Aging down to our office here on Main Street. And we're very delighted to have Janice with us. Janice, come on over and join us, if you will. She's our partner in the march. And you'll hear a little bit more of the march uh, in uh, a moment. So what I'd like to do now is just turn the program over for a second to Terry, who's going to talk a little bit about World Elder Abuse Awareness and what OCES's role is in protecting our older Americans. Terry. Hi. World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is very important. We've started um, our march. This will be our fifth year. Uh, it's important for us to get the word out that elder abuse is happening and where it needs to go in terms of reporting. Um, Old Colony Elder Services Protective Services investigates elder abuse, neglect, financial exploitation, um, self-neglect, and sexual abuse, and that's where the reports need to be filed in terms of protective services for us to see what we can do to help um, stop elder abuse. The march is to raise awareness, and we hope that you come join us in Brockton on June 15th for the march. Uh, again, it begins at the COA and ends at the COA with speakers and recognition and lunch. Um, and it's free, so we ask that you please come join us to help us build awareness of this important issue. Great, thanks Terry. And we would love to thank the generous sponsor of our two marches this year, one in Brockton on the 15th and the second one in Plymouth on the 22nd. Uh, Harbor One Bank, the Brockton Police Patrolmen's Union, the Plymouth Police Relief Association, Shaw's Supermarket, Roach Brothers, and of course the Plymouth County District Attorney's Office. And we have with us Tim Cruz of the DA's office. Tim, if you could come up and introduce yourself and stay a few words, we'd appreciate Certainly it. Certainly great. Thank you so much, and I want to thank everybody for all the great work they do for the seniors here in Brockton as well as the County of Plymouth. Elder abuse is real. I think everybody that works here knows that and understands that. It's really important to get the word out. That's why this is important today, to get that word out, making sure that we can keep our seniors safe and keep our elders safe. So thank you all for what you do every single day and uh, the comfort that you provide to our seniors. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Tim. You know, last year the Executive Office of Elder Affairs received almost 25,000 reports of possible elder abuse in Massachusetts. We estimate about 1 in 10 seniors are affected by this terrible situation, and we know it's an unreported situation. So we at OCES are really focused on raising awareness about this. And you know that the city of Brockton is focused on raising awareness of the rebuilding and the revitalization of downtown Brockton, and recently received a major grant to do what's known as streetscaping here in downtown Brockton. And so with the help of the city, we talked about perhaps using some of the beautiful structures that we have to raise banners to bring people's attention to elder abuse. So I'd like now to introduce two men that were instrumental in that, ask them to come up uh, and be recognized and perhaps say a few words. So first, our mayor, Bill Carpenter of the city of Brompton, and the head of our Department of oh. Public Works, Larry Rowley, who every time I call says, let me see what I can do. Yeah. So gentlemen. <laughs> so he knows better than to say no to you, Lynn, that's why. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone for being here today. Lynn, thank you for putting this event together. I think we're really fortunate here in the city of Brockton to have so many partners that are helping us uh, to look out for our seniors. We've got the Council on Aging uh, that does a great job providing services. We've got Old Colony Elder Services based here out of Brockton. 
the district attorney, our police department, the sheriff's department. We have a lot of partners uh, in helping us to provide services to our seniors. Um, I'll tell you that this hits very closely home to me right now because I've got an elderly dad who's struggling to stay in his own house, living by himself, and if it weren't for the services that we're able to help him access through organizations like Old Colony Elder Services, he wouldn't be able to stay there. But it also opens my eyes to this how at risk some of our seniors really are because when he was just coming home from a recent hospitalization and now us trying to figure out all the different services we've got to get to come in so he can stay in his house, very first meeting with the doctor after coming home from the hospital and as we're arranging this with his primary care physician, almost the first thing the doctor says to us is, well, you have to start thinking differently now because you're going to have a lot of people coming and going in and out of the house that you don't really know. Um, and so you've got to you know, lock up your valuables, you've got to think about where you leave your prescription drugs, and all of those things. So I mean, it really hit home to me, and, and thank goodness we've got people out on the front lines, like physicians, like our social service agencies to help guide the seniors, but it really hit home to me is just how at risk many of our seniors are, particularly those that are trying to stay at home at their own home and not have to, to go live in a facility. So I truly appreciate this. Uh, I walk in this walk every June, looking forward to it again this year um, so that hopefully we can continue to raise awareness because I think that's what this month is really all about is helping to raise people's awareness as to just how at risk our seniors are and what are the services that we need to make sure that they're receiving and they're connected with so that we can keep them safe. And, and uh, to the district attorney and the sheriff and all of our agencies here, we truly appreciate all their help in making that happen. We're very fortunate here in the city, so thank you. Thank you, Bill. And for uh, Larry, wait a minute, Larry's oh. not going to speak. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think Larry was invited up here. Larry ought to say a couple yes, words, especially since he dressed better than me today. <laughs> I'd hate to have him get all dressed up and not be asked to speak. Well, I won't say much, but when, when Lynn did reach out to me about, she said, Larry, I think we can do something with the downtown street lights. And I said, what do you want, Lynn? She said, I'd like to put some banners up for the elderly, the abuse for the elderly. And I said, absolutely, whatever the DPW can do, we'll do it. And I think you, thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Thank you, Larry. Thank you so much. And oh, yes, we sir. just want to remind everyone in the audience that Mr. Mayor will give you a supply of these brochures to put up in City Hall. If anyone in the community has any concerns or thinks that maybe something is amiss, please call us at Old Colony Elder Services. It's a completely confidential call. So you can find information on our website, ocesma.org, or you can call our main number, which is everyone together, 508 587. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank yeah. you. We almost got it right. We right? almost yeah. got it right. Yeah. Yeah. I think I heard one out the there brochure. that was a little All bad. right. Yeah. It's on the brochure. <laughs> so if I could ask the district attorney to come forward and Dominic from the Department of Public Works to come forward, we're going to gather over here by the bucket. We'll show everybody our banner that's going uh, going up. Dominic, maybe you can show the audience the banner. And each one of the banners, the message is similar, but each image is a little different to represent the diversity of our community. So gentlemen, I'm gonna turn it over to you to figure it out. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah. 